So we're just gonna squeeze through right here. Well, it's an early morning start today. This is day number seven. I got a long day today. <laughs> Crazy that I'm gonna try to go 277 miles. But that's how it's worked out. So we're gonna do it. It's about 6.45. I'm going to get down here to uh, south of Dalton, Georgia and get a quick breakfast and then move my way towards the Talladega Mountains and then eventually all the way down past Roanoke, Alabama and then to Amity Corps of Engineering campsite. Alright, do you not see me? For gate open stop here for gate open get closer to that post if it will open completely hello all right so we're just gonna squeeze through right here <laughs> crazy gate didn't want people to leave early. Anyway, um, and all that, well, it turned out because I originally would have loved to have gone to the pocket campground, which I'll go right by. I just, again, wasn't confident I'd get a site. And this was the next closest decent looking park, close to the route anyway. So, this could be a 10 hour day easily. So we're off. This is the dam that created Carter's Lake. And this is the road upon the dam. So though you call this Carter's Dam Road. I'm just telling you like it is. Already had one deer dart in front of me. Fortunately he was fleet of foot and kept going. He did not dart into me. Right, Josh? This is the, I guess, again, between where I stayed at Doll Mountain, there southwest of Ella J, and before you get over here to uh, south of Dalton, there is a fair amount of pavement, but there's these, it's the second of two gravel road sections. So we are on the road up to Misty, toward Misty Mountain Retreat or camp. There's a Girl Scout, Boy Scout camp somewhere up here. I was thinking this road was going to be a gravel mountain road, but uh, it's a twisty paved road, at least so far. So this is southwest of Dalton, Georgia, so you're heading over to uh, the pocket. It has definitely been a misty morning. The fog has uh, been relentless since I left Doll Mountain Campground. A little lighter right now, which is good. I guess I got above it. And we jump onto Smith Gap Road. Beautiful section. There's a little stream crossing back there. This road continues for quite a while. Moving down along, uh, I guess, this mountain ridge or edge. 
but it just keeps weaving our way down headed toward the southwest so we just came off a of four service road looks like 352 or 252 252 yeah and now we're on uh, what's called Pinhoti Trail which is interesting because that's a hiking trail saw my first two other adventure bike riders go in the opposite direction this road definitely has not been maintained quite as nicely as that forest service road although it's not bad a fun road though if I find anything more interesting I'll come back to the video Well, that section truly did not disappoint. Uh, so it was also had the word narrow road. I finally was able to read. Uh, I guess a portion of it serves as a Pinoti Trail. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, then we come back out on this paved section, Spring Creek Road. Again, we are moving south. So after you come off that mountain road, you string together several nice long curvy enough paved road sections through some rural uh, residential areas um, but nice riding nice roads yeah <laughs> anyway continue to work our way towards the Talladega Mountains and some more mountain roads in that area eventually down to Lineville Alabama I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. So after that paved road section, you're back on the Forest Service roads. I think it said Mac White Gap. Uh, and also with some Pinhoti Trail parking back there. So definitely we're kind of following some roads that work their way along that hiking trail system. So I'm not sh so sure how far this forest service portion runs, but it might be one of the ones that runs away. Hello. Bit chunky. Forest Service Road 205 continues. It's had a few uh, little rutted sections, especially on the ups or downhill sections where there's been water water runoff creating some some of those ruts so this is definitely the rockiest and ruttiest portion of it I don't know if I'm getting out of the forest service route part no it still has 205 right there also has some kind of other name on it. That was a mud puddle for Tim. Ooh, we got barbed wire right here on the right. Alright, then we're back on some blacktop. Foster Manning Road. Beautiful. A couple little residential areas, for, but for the most part, just a nice paved road through the winding countryside. Big Texas Valley Road has been a long paved stretch, but a nice, nice road to run. We now come to Huffaker. But yeah, that was a, a long stretch, made up a fair amount of average speed time for me, especially today with the number of miles. Part of the other problem was finding a camping site somewhere between the Chiha State Park or the Talladega Mountains area and all the way down to, to Roanoke or just south of Roanoke where Amity is. There just weren't any options that I could find. So once you get on Georgia 100, get comfortable. Because it looks like it's a pretty good stretch of a two-lane highway. 
Just a quick update, we are now on Duggar Mountain Road in the Talladega National Forest. And we are headed south, uh, about to get to some roads I've ridden before when some friends of mine came up to Chiha and we came up north of the interstate there, past Interstate 20 between Birmingham and Atlanta. This is a beautiful road. I, I, I Again, I didn't expect it to be basically paved. Um, sometimes the potholes are bad enough you wouldn't think it's paved. Looking a little bit more like red clay and gravel now. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah, this section and then this next section, once I get down to Interstate 20, I'll be pretty much done with true mountain roads. There'll still be some nice, pretty backcountry roads. But uh, nothing like I've had the last couple days. If you've never visited the Talladega Mountain area, and it's between Atlanta and Birmingham, of course, Talladega, Alabama, you've heard of the Talladega Racetrack. But uh, there's also a state park in the middle of the Talladega National Forest called Chiha. And there are some great Forest Service roads in the area to ride, this being one of them. Like I said, this is up in the north area, across the interstate from Chiha. But you can camp at Lake Coleman, that we'll be going almost next, almost past, just a, real close. And then there's um, another smaller campground we'll be going right by. I don't remember the name of it. And there's also at least one, if not more, campgrounds specifically for horse riding. And there's a number of horse riding trails through the woods here. And the Garmin app actually shows some of those. And if you find a gate open, you might even explore a horse trail. <laughs> Four of us did that. Oh, a couple years back and that was a neat adventure we really enjoyed it I won't be doing that today still have 112 miles to go and like I said a little bit of research in Lineville that I'm gonna take some time to stop there for kind of neat that the uh, Southeast Adventure Trail goes right through Lineville Speaking of horse trails, <laughs> the one we explored came out right here, and that gate is open. And it goes through to the road that runs parallel with this road, north and south. And uh, like I said, it was it was a little sketchy at times. So if you've been to Talladega Mountains before, you know the Skyway, Parkway, I don't remember the exact name of it right now, but this is a great section of it. Just a little bit west of Heflin, headed south towards Chiha State Park. Been on this road many times since my childhood. That's starting to give a few hints about Lineville. No, I didn't grow up in Lineville. But I'll say more in a bit. So that last stretch before turning right on the 512, it had the most mud I've seen. Never did get the camera turned on for you. So coming into Lineville, Alabama. As a boy, I grew up coming here on a pretty regular basis because my mom's 
parents had retired here. I've been to that church on those front steps. My brother and I would ride around town and collect Coke bottles back when you could get deposits for them. And we'd take them to the IGA and cash them in, baby. So I'm going to stop here for some fuel and also over here at the Jacks for some lunch. And then I'm going to go to the Lineville Cemetery. Yep, a cemetery. See if I can't find my grandparents' grave. Haven't visited that since I guess my granddad died which was back when I was in college. So this is what I came looking for. That's my mom, Betty, or Elizabeth Lucretia Parker Ratliff's parents, Earl and Sarah Parker. My grandmother died of cancer in 1969, and my granddad died at 92 years old in 1980. They were missionaries in China and Korea. A blessing to be able to come back here and visit this since granddad's funeral up here in 1980. 43 years later. Amazing. Alright, I'm going to make a quick drive back over here to a street that actually is named after my grandparents. I visited, visited it a few years ago when I came through here on the Honda ST and um, got a picture of the street sign with my bike parked in front of it, myself standing there. So this is it. You see there? Parker Street. Even before it was named after them, Tom and myself and other neighborhood friends that we made used to play on this street and this house on the left and this house on the right was where one of I think it was on granny's side of the family we'd come over here and have dinner with them and make homemade peach ice cream ooh this hedge got hacked up but yeah Parker Street right there and then right across the street over here is the house that, that they lived in and that we used to visit I'll just stop here real quick. Looks like it needs a paint job, but there was a swing. Yeah, I can see the chains for the front porch swing. Back there to the garage in the back, and on the hill behind that was Granddaddy's garden. Awesome. All right. Time to press on, though. Just a little taste of some of the... Uh, off-roading on the south side of Lineville as I'm he headed on towards Roanoke and then past there to Amity Campground. Still some nice roads. Thank you Northern Traveler. Pieced together of course with some paved roads here and there. 